May the holy names of Jesus and Mary and Joseph be blessed now and forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Alphonsus Maria de la Gori, doctor of the church, says, Woe to those who despise devotion to Mary. The soul cannot live without having recourse to Mary and recommending itself to her. He falls and is lost who does not have recourse to Mary. Beautiful words on this 14th day, now, month of Mary, Father Stefano Manelli. The topic is blasphemy, blasphemy. Define speaking in an evil or impious manner of God or his saints, the Blessed Virgin Mary, or any holy thing related to the Lord. Blasphemy. My soul proclaims, proclaims the greatness of the Lord in Luke 1, 46. When the soul of Our Lady opened itself, just making a little tiny opening, she gave us the hymn of glory and of love that reveals how she was full of the Lord and immaculate and his perfect praise of glory. On the contrary, though, there is another soul, that of the blasphemer, the blasphemer. He also, the blasphemy, comes from within and reveals the absence of God in the soul and is also a grave insult towards the duty to promote the glory of the Lord. What about this blasphemy? Blasphemy, a terrible mortal sin, the worst injury one can do to the Lord, to Our Lady and to the saints, and to what is holy and sacred. St. Jerome even went so far as to say that any sin is light compared to blasphemy. Any sin is light compared to blasphemy. We have the examples. What are the examples we can say of this blasphemy? Perhaps you can imagine an example where somebody shakes their fist towards heaven or spits towards heaven, for example, or says that God is not the author of the Bible, something like this. How many blasphemies we see in the likes of the cinema and on our streets and in our midst how many blasphemies against the blessed virgin mary offending the lord himself who came to sister lucia the seer from fatima may 29 1930 came himself and said stop offending offending my mother and the blasphemies he thus explained the five offenses and blasphemies against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, blasphemies against her Immaculate Conception, against her perpetual virginity, against the divine and spiritual maternity of Mary, blasphemies involving the rejection and dishonoring of her images, and the neglecting of implanting in the hearts of children knowledge and love of this Immaculate Mother. Blasphemies given by our Lord Himself to Lucia, stop offending the mother. It is certain that with blasphemy one rebels against God, gives scandal and provokes the wrath of the Lord and suffers the misfortune of losing God's grace. This is a sin against the second commandment. The second commandment. By the second commandment, we are commanded to speak with reverence of God and all holy persons and things and to keep our lawful oaths and vows. The second commandment, thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord in vain. Padupir Petrucina defined blasphemy as the language of the devil. And who would so grieve upon hearing such that he thus wrote to his spiritual father, Father, how I suffer to see that Christ is being ignored by men. But what is worse is that he's been insulted 
and above all by these horrible blasphemies. I would prefer to die or at least become deaf rather than hear so many Ill insults against God and by men. Look at all the blasphemies we had in this film a few years ago. Dan Brown and the Da Vinci Code. Blasphemy. What mental disorder grips men that pushes them to blaspheme? Blasphemy is a wicked inspiration from the devil, from Beelzebub, and an evil practice of those who do not have sound minds. It cannot be explained in any other way. Father Stefano Manelli now says that martyrdom is preferable. Martyrdom instead. How many martyrs preferred bloody martyrdom to blasphemy? What glory for the Christian faith when, for example, St. Polycarp, a noble old man, Bishop of Smyrna, was taken to his torture. The Roman governor told him, curse your Christ and I will set you free. Curse your Christ and I will set you free. Before answering, St. Polycarp raised his eyes to heaven and then said, for 80 years, 80 years I have served my Lord Jesus Christ. In an honest time, he has done nothing but, but good to me. And should I blaspheme him now? He is my Lord, my Savior, and my supreme benefactor. He faced death then with fearless courage and died in the most glorious manner before all. About the same thing happened to the ardent virgin, St. Apollonia. Her teeth, her teeth had just been violently extracted. Then her executioner's way wanted her to curse and blaspheme. Otherwise, she would be thrown into a fire already prepared for her. Upon hearing these conditions, the saint did not even wait to be thrown. She wriggled and threw herself voluntarily into the fire. Now the story comes to mind, the Franciscans in a place called Sureg Brijeg in Bosnia, 1945, the communists came in and told the Franciscans they were worthless and they had to work in the world. And they had to stand and renounce Christ and stand on the cross, the crucifix on the floor, unless they would be tortured and killed. They refused, and all of them were shot and then burned together. The martyrdom. The obligation to correct the blasphemy. St. Augustine says that the blasphemers of Christ are not less guilty than those who at one time crucified him on earth. Thus from here springs obligation to reprove and correct anyone who has this evil vice. We must bear with patience the injuries others do to us. But when before us a sacrilegious mouth vomits blasphemies against God, far from being patient, we must resist the offender and condemn the blasphemy without concealing our indignation without concealing our indignation. St. Louis de Montfort, great bastion, magnify Our Lady, would go around Brittany in France, preaching the glories of Our Lady, sometimes staying in guest houses and taverns, hearing people blaspheme the Blessed Mother. What would he do? He would confront them, tell them to stop, and even some occasions he would strike people for their blasphemies. Even Padre Pio Petrucini was asked if it was necessary for one to reprove someone who blasphemed. He answered, it is most holy and just. It is most holy and just. One should not dispense himself from a duty that must be given importance by all. Because blasphemy is also a social crime. Remember, we are all part of the mystical body of the church. If someone blasphemes against Jesus Christ, Our Lady, or the saints, against our faith, it affects us all. Because of blasphemy, wrote St. John Chrysostom, famine, earthquakes, diseases, and wars exist on earth. 
Padupio adds, blasphemy provokes the punishments of the Lord, diseases, accidents, and misfortunes, deprives us of our bread, cleans the fireplace of ashes, makes one lose important graces that were to be given. For this he was very demanding and energetic. Padupio, he often sent away blasphemers without absolution at times hitting them forcefully with terrible expressions such as these. Blasphemy is the devil on your tongue. Blasphemy is the devil on your tongue. It draws hell on your soul. Blasphemy is a mystery of iniquity. Who would curse your mother? Once on his way to Rome, St. Maximilian Maria Kobe heard a man uttering a terrible blasphemy against the Immaculate, Our Lady, Our Mother. St. Maximilian trembled within himself, immediately approached the man and spoke to him with tears in his eyes. Why do you curse Our Lady? Why do you curse Our Lady? Would you curse your own mother? With those tears and those words, the blasphemer repented, asked pardon, and promised not to do it anymore. This is what we have to do to reprove Souls blaspheming against our faith. If we truly love Our Lady as we should, how we ought to persevere in making her respected by others. She is our most holy, most pure, pure and most beautiful mother. And when one cannot or does not succeed in correcting a blasphemer, one must at least make a little reparation for the blasphemy. Alexander Mansoni narrated a little incident that happened to him when he was in Milan. One winter night, while on a street corner covered with snow, while on a street covered with snow, he heard a horrible blasphemy uttered by a person working with a shovel. Shocked and sad, Manzoni immediately entered a church to make reparation for that blasphemy with prayer. In church, he saw a most beautiful and unexpected scene. Near the tabernacle was a girl sending kisses to Jesus with her little hand. Beautiful. Manzoni watched with tenderness, then covered his face with his hands and wept. This was his roses of blasphemy being offered up to the Lord. From the school of St. Alphonsus, we learn the duty of making reparation remembering his visits to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Our Lady. With these beautiful and meaningful words, today I greet your most loving heart to compensate for all the injuries you have received. Let us put into practice to offer especially the divine praises. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, etc., in reparation for the blasphemies against the most sacred heart of Jesus Christ and the mother. Let us learn from the saints how to immediately repair every blasphemy we hear, at least by uttering some ejaculations with love. Let us then ask Our Lady to fill our souls with God's glory. So today, what can we do in practice and Reparation for all these outrages against the hearts of Jesus and Mary, against the saints in our faith. We should recite many times, if we can't today, the beautiful Magnificat. Offer your day for those who blaspheme. Make amends for the blasphemies by correcting whoever blasphemies or by reciting many ejaculatory prayers. Blessed William Joseph Kaminat said, the honor of Mary is so intimately connected with the honor and glory of Jesus Christ that to deny the one is at the same time to deny the other. So let us draw close to the mother, put our spiritual house in order and stop the blasphemy to give glory to God and adore the Lord with all our hearts and to be with him forever in eternity. Amen.
May the holy names of Jesus and Mary and Joseph be blessed now and forever. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.